Vietnam Museum is an important building in the city. Louvre actually is probably, I think, the number one monument of France. I think it's more important than the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and so if you touch it, all you have to do is do something to it. Somebody's going to tell you, you're wrong. Don't touch it. That's, that's normal. If I were French, I would feel the same way. When I first showed the idea to the public, I would say 90% were against it. I'm not exaggerating. No, I would say the first year and a half would really help. Uh, I really couldn't walk the streets of Paris without people walking and look at me as if they say, ah, there you go again, what are you doing here? What are you doing to us? What are you doing to our, our great blues? But to respect tradition, you also have to think about the need for change. And Louvre have to change, there's no question about it. But how to make that change? How to make history live? And at the same time, point the way to the future? I don't know, I'm trying. French weren't that ready for change at that time. <laughs> it took a while before they calmed down. And I have critics right now already in China, but I know that China is ready for change. China better than I knew France. And China is entering into the modern world. And uh, they think, rightly or wrongly, that I can make a contribution. So I'm back. Chinese architecture really doesn't have a sense of direction. Since Ming Dynasty, they really hasn't been anything that one can say, this is the renaissance of Chinese architecture. None. An interruption of 500 years. That's serious. And that lies the challenge. I'm not so sure I can succeed, but someone has to begin.